Oh, hi there, Skippers, and welcome to another Sub-Sunday as we return to the battles of the USS, uh, Sunfish? Am I right on that? I have no idea. Review the orders, that'll tell us. Yes, it is the Sunfish. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> I've been, uh, recently playing with the Russian sub-mod a lot, so, uh, my ship is not named anything like a fish. Uh, US submarines often named after fish because, well, they go underwater. Anyway, uh, last episode, we snuck up and annihilated a pair of whiskeys and a Foxtrot submarine, pretty much doing what a sturgeon does best, being stealthy, a hole in the water, and then a deadly weapons platform when it finds you and kills you. But now we've been given new orders. We must find an enemy cruise missile submarine. It'll likely be a fairly old boat, but it is escorted by a nuclear echo class. Ooh, scary. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. The ship we're looking for is a nuclear echo, but it may have an attack sub-escort, which could be so much as a Victor. And the Victor-class submarine is really dangerous. But, uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find what we get. Where is he heading towards? Transiting southward in the Norwegian Sea towards the North Atlantic Convoy Route. So, let's hit that continue. Continue on course. I'm gonna guess that's him. And we're gonna sneak right up on him. Hello! New sonar contact, bearing 1-0, designate Sierra 1, depth is 150 feet, speed is 10 knots, our heading is 147. So, let us, all hands, man the battle stations. And immediately, rig for silent running. Silence. Wow, the water seems very bright today. Hmm, pretty nice day. So, let's see, we need to come 20 degrees to port. Contact Sierra 1, classified as November. Wow, you got him already. Uh, Sierra 2, contact. Signature. Uh, I have no idea what you are. Uh, actually, I'm kind of thinking you might be Charlie. No, not quite. I see a line. You're Juliet. I'm not 100% on that, but I think you are a Juliet. Because I'm seeing line, line, line. Maybe line? Single line here, I think. Not 100% sure. Other one, though. What do we got? Yep, there she is. Oh god, I did not realize. Uh, the floor depth is 400 feet. Crap. Uh, torpedo evasion is going to be kind of difficult in so shallow seas. Let's keep on turning. Uh, target Sierra. Two contact. We don't have much on him yet. We really don't. 67% firing solution on him, though. On the November, we're doing really well. Why do we have him so well? I don't know. Maybe the... Well, yeah, the... Condi no, we're both moderate duck player. We have no idea where this guy is quite yet. And I don't know what he is. I honestly don't know what he is. Hmm. Not sure yet, anyway. Maybe this could be coalescing into lines? Not really clear. 86% solution, so they're going to figure it out pretty soon. Oh, this is the new uh, ship recognition manual. We got him. So two Novembers. Okay. Okay, that works for me. 93% uh, solution accuracy. Uh, we do not have a torpedo in this tube. So let's... Uh... Oh, crap. Wrong button. We don't want to go nowhere. We're going to zero out. And target November 1 with a torpedo. November 2. Okay, so I want to fire with my port side torpedoes. Oh, he's pinging. November was cavitating. He didn't get a cat whiff of us. There's no way. Tube 1 is loaded and ready to rock. Okay, let's, uh, snapshot him? We broke the wire immediately. Crap. And it's on a passive run. I'm not happy about that. Uh, immediately begin re reloading if we broke the wire already. The target is here too. I kind of want to just send one down at you like so. So I'm going to go about... No, that's too distant for a shot. Oh crap, do I not have a choice? Oh no, escape. Escape gets out of it. So we fired a torpedo at uh, at November 1. He can't see us. He pinged, but I don't know why he pinged. Because there's no way he'll know we're here. 
I want to drive into his baffles, I think. Yeah, it's kind of shallow around here, though. So I'm a little worried about the area. Uh, before I forget, we're going to set that. Yeah, and they've only got zigzag run. No straight running torpedoes for us. Wow, he slowed way the heck down. Is this, uh, yeah, this is Sierra 1 November. The one we fired on. So let's zoom in a bit. That'll be pretty close, actually. I'm not sure. This torpedo is so slow. Its maximum speed is 26 knots. That should sort of give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. So if we look at this, it's a November SSN. It's uh, 4,750 tons. It's 107.4 meters long by 7.9 meters wide. Its maximum speed is 26 knots, so just like us, a crew of 105. And it's 160 decibels, which is semi-noisy. So it's a loud boat. This is no quiet thing. And uh, CR2 is also November, helpfully spotted by our sonar crew. And uh, how far are we to this target? November 2 range is 6.8 kilometers. This one's 5.3, but you're sort of heading towards us. Conditions are pretty rough. Pretty rough. That torpedo is going to take forever to get there. That torpedo is going to miss. You can tell because if you look at the track. If we look at this track, the sub is over here and continuing that way. There's almost no chance that thing is going to seek. I mean, maybe it'll pick it up if he starts cavitating. But I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Yeah, one of the things about the 1968 campaign is we have to be a lot more careful about the kinds of shots we take. Um, I've noticed in the, uh, in the 1984 campaign, you can just be willy-nilly about things. You've got Mark 48 torpedoes, they travel at 40 knots, you've launched them, they go, they're going to find something if they see anything within 2 kilometer or 2,000 yards of them. So if an enemy takes a pot shot at you, you take a shot back at them, even if you don't know where they are, and you're going to hit them. Mark 37s can't do that. They, they are just not able to do that. He's doing five knots. He's listening for us, that's for sure. Uh, not quite able to hear us, though. His active is at negative five. His passive is at negative nine. So he ain't hearing nothing. Our other friendly target is somewhere out there. Doesn't really matter. We still have a good solution on him. And we'll continue to have good solution tracks on him. So I tease like a hole in the water. I know he's semi-noisy, but I, I just don't have a lot of faith in the uh, in the Mark 37. Not a lot of faith at all. I mean, it's not a powerful weapon. It's a small warhead. It's slow. Its seeker is okay. Really, at this at this time period, Russian torpedoes are better than ours. That that's just. The simple fact of the matter is, we make better boats. Our boats are silent as all hell. And we have fantastic sensors. But we just don't have a weapon to sort of work with that. So yeah, there's... I don't want to say there's no chance, because it is going to enter into a zigzag pattern. And that may pick him up. But that'll be... That'll be a thing to see. Is he turning? Yeah, he's going left rudder. Ooh. I wonder what you're doing. What you doing, friend? Buddy, old pal? This one is steaming pretty hard away. He's at 10 knots. So he's, he's really chugging out of here. He's cavitating. Zero One is cavitating. Why? He's churning. So, uh, if this torpedo goes active anytime soon, it's going. It's turned on. It's now hunting. He's pinged, he still doesn't have a good target on us. 
But if you cavitate like that, this torpedo may catch you. Oh, come on. Come on, he's cavitating. He's right in front of you. He's making all kinds of noise. You're going to have a perfect, perfect aim at those, at those exploding bubbles. Oh, we lost him. We no longer can see him. Which is weird because he's just turned his turn, stern to us and he's cavitating super hard. I think the range is 900 something yards that this thing can sort of actively seek. Oh. Like, I want it to work, I really do, but it's not going to. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, it's way off in the corner. Okay, so we got to deal with one of these guys. Well, with this one, kind of soon. They've split up in opposite directions. So we're going to have to go for the one that's closer to us. I mean, that's kind of a requirement. If we were to go active, we would see him. But, this is a pretty big but, he would see us, and he would launch on us, and in these waters, that would be bad. He's doing 26 knots? And our torpedo couldn't seek him? Really? Let's get a good solution on this guy again. He's sprinting at maximum speed. And our torpedo can't see him. If we want him, we're going to have to go sprinting right after him. Wait a second, our orders were to find a net, an echo. You see an echo around here? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Our orders are to find an echo class submarine and to kill it. These are Novembers. These are the attack boat escort. This isn't our mission. Dive, make your depth 250 feet. These Novembers are unimportant. down. Not super deep, but deep enough. Deep enough that we don't cavitate. Because I want to pick up some speed here. Passing 200 feet. Level off the planes. Ballast into neutral. Head two thirds. Let's start churning water a bit. Okay, we lost the November. The November's not our target. Okay, there, there is more information on here. Uh, so by clicking different things we can get extra information if it's available. Specifically about weapons. Although I would like to know if this is a nuke boat. Or, well, SSN, so yeah, that's a nuke boat. What we're looking for an Echo. No, none of you. Echo 2. Hmm. Going up. I want to pop above the layer just a bit. Hmm. 
lost a cut speed when we hit about 150 feet. There he goes, churning away. Come up on 200 feet. Head one third. Place to 10 degrees. Six feet. In the shadow zone right now, practically invisible. Won't be there for long though. Passing 100 feet. Zero out the planes. Take a listen. Don't hear nothing. somewhere around here, I'd imagine. As long as he's clanging away with his active sonar and doing 26 knots, he's not, he's not a danger to anybody. Let's go back down. Oh, I didn't realize that the, uh, the tailplane moved, too. I suppose it should have been obvious, but I've never really been looking at that time. We get about below 150 feet. We'll kick it back up to head two thirds. I don't actually know what the sturgeon's uh, cavitation curve is. I should find that out someday. But I've been having too much fun screwing around with the Russian subs in the uh, Russian sub mod available on Subsim. Chase. Let's continue down to 300 feet, just in case, because I'm a little bit worried about cavitation. Okay, no cavitation. Let's level off. Yeah, we're not detecting nothing at this speed. What I can't help but think is a little bit weird. But, if, I'll guess. No real clue if it's realistic or not. But they did go through a lot of effort to make a lot of things in this game pretty realistic, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Sturgeons really are nice boats. I quite like it. By the way, if you're new to Sub Sundays, you managed to miss the other two episodes, uh, we're, we're a lot more low-key on Sub Sundays, partially because the game is not so frantic, and partially because, well, Sunday is a nice, relaxing day. So the episodes are longer, the commentary is a little bit slower, and so we sort of go through things as we plot and scheme our devious evil things, looking to kill people. Not seeing much. Slow down to two thirds. See if what we can get a look at. We can't even catch this guy because our maximum turning is 25 knots. He'd still be outrunning us. It's kind of frustrating when you think about it. We're gonna speed up time just a bit here. Slow down. Did I go after the wrong target? Come on, find me Sierra 3. 
it'll be an echo. Unless this encounter is completely contained. But I don't think it is. Just, just part of me doesn't think it is. All right, let's reload these to be the proper weapons. If we're doing anti-submarine work, let's rig for anti-submarine work. Normally we try and keep two and two because two and two will leave us ready for surface work, but we really haven't been doing much surface work if you think about it. We had that duel in the one episode, but yeah. Yeah, there's still vessels nearby. You'd want to put that kind of defense in front of you, not behind you. I think. Can I come up? See a target to you? Got nothing. Well, we're above the lair. Nothing. Go back down. Almost perfect, 300. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. You've got to be out there. Part of me is tempted to go active. I don't think I'll find anything if I go active, but I'm definitely tempted to try. I hate being deaf so shallow. Seen him. <sighs> I suppose we could chase after the November. I'm not sure what good it'll do. We did just do a gigantic end around on this guy if, we're, if that's what we're now chasing down. Good standard. Can I get away with full? I can. Okay. So we'll do 20 knots for a bit. Catch up to this guy. Five knots, take a listen. Nothing. Back up to speed. Almost to where he was. Take a listen. Grab 
great, the November's disappeared. Shoot. That was bad. That was really bad. We gotta get out of here now. Because if I were the Soviets, and I had the superior torpedoes they've got, I'd fire a torpedo right down the bearing of where that cavitation happened. Crap. So now I'm worried. Now I'm really worried. Because I just gave myself away. They didn't know I was here. They, they knew a torpedo came in the area, but they didn't really know, have any idea where I was. And now they know exactly where I was. It is a concerning thing. Go down, take a listen. Nothing but flow noise. find anything. No vessels nearby. Okay, so that wasn't even our target. So no problem. Somewhere along the Norwegian Sea, heading southbound towards the shipping lanes, there will be an enemy submarine force. It'll be our job to kill them. Hmm. You, maybe? Surprised you got through the Sussex warning nets. Because so this is normally pretty liable. That's gotta be you. I gotta chase, but I can't catch up. Sturgeon's so slow. Come back. No, that's you. Oh, I've been pulled out of, lured out of position. Be faster. Be faster. Where'd he go? Chase, 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 chase! Come on. Somewhere around here. Where is he? There he is. Uh, we were skulking, okay. So if you hold right down right click, when you meet a contact, you're going to be at 150 feet, and you're going to be doing 10 knots. If you're holding down left click, you're going to be like 900 feet or as deep as you can be, and doing your maximum speed. And if you're not touching anything, you'll be at periscope depth and holding still. So Sierra 1, let's check it out. Let's see if he is who we want him to be. Uh, bearing 1-9. Conditions very deep. So bearing one nine, so we're gonna come left. We're rigged for ultra quiet. And we are below the very weak duct. All weapons loaded, ready for nasty work. I 
don't think it's a humpback whale. Just something tells me it's not. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I know you want to come to me. Got four torpedoes with your name on them. Tell me you're an echo class. Course is one nine. And I'm doing one eight. Peek above the lair, see what's there. Now that I've noticed that, I can't help but notice the uh, the tailplanes moving every time I change depth. Let's peek above the lair, then we'll duck right back down. Above the lair. Let's dive. guys to active homing. Two hundred feet. We're gonna go uh, five hundred feet. don't feel comfortable pinging. The reason I really don't like to ping is because our torpedoes suck. Because one of the reasons why you'd ping is you want to entice the shot, right? We don't want to entice the shot. Because we can't fire back very effectively if we do. Nothing on this mission so far. Contact reestablished. Foxtrot, maybe. Romeo. I call Romeo. He's a Romeo class submarine. Go to 354. She's on top of the layer. Gotta go up. Steam at eight knots. She can definitely hear us if she pings. So let's not give her a reason to ping. Confidence is high on Romeo target. She's heading right for us.
Um, is it looks like a diesel electric boat. We were told to expect a nuclear submarine. But a Romeo is an attack submarine escort. Ooh, this could be it. Seventy six percent accuracy. Sig. Okay, we're starting to get in our passive band. Stand by fire control. Level out, run true. Let's give him something to talk about. Torpedoes away. Guide him. Guide the torpedo. And, uh, diving officer. Dive, dive, dive. Take us down. Torpedo, pick him up. Ignore it. Torpedoes acquired. Gotta keep an eye on this if we fall, start falling too deep. Stay on him, stay on him. Okay. We can't do much more for this. It's up to the torpedo now. Passing 400 feet. Torpedo has required target.
be the one that's looking good. We're keeping the wire the whole way in. She can only do 12 knots, it looks like. 13 knots is her maximum speed. Now the noisemaker. Torpedoes rejected the noisemaker. Track is good. Stand by. Count sonar, we have torpedo impact. We've got sounds of flooding. Romeo's going down. Excellent. Sweet work. Not the target. Good initiative. Uh, that's where we're going to leave the episode today. Uh, one no-show, but then one nice little sneak up and murderization of a Romeo. Still hunting for that Echo class. I haven't found him yet, but we're going to find him. We're going to find him. We're going to find him. We're going to hunt him. We're going to sink him. Uh, anyway. Uh, I've been Tarek. If you like what you've seen, hit the like button and subscribe. We'll continue to do Sub Sundays. This is a really fun game. I'm enjoying it a lot, and the mods make it even better. Ugh. I kind of want to get through this se first season pretty quick so that we can move on to more stuff, cooler stuff. Although I really am liking this sturgeon. It's a lovely boat. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every single time I put up a video, press the little bell icon, and I will see you all on the next episode.